Hey guys, well, we unlocked the survival guide, and now we're going to go for the defender. So, let's do it. And you have to play on the Wuzhang point again, but this time around, we will be playing on the Waze Forces. And also, just like in the last part, I said we'll be playing as Nuwa. And uh, if you want to know how to unlock her, you need to complete four specific Musa modes. You have to complete Zenji's Musa mode, Da Xiao's Musa mode, Xiao Xiao's Musa mode, and Sun Shang Xiang's Musa mode. And uh, once you complete that fourth one, then once you go to free mode, then you'll see her here. So, enough of that. Let's do it. And hopefully I won't be taking an hour to complete this. <laughs> I know, I mean, I've actually played as new one from time to time if I'm bored of playing it and I'm starting to play this game again. So, this one won't be that much of a problem. Anyway, the intro and the conditions, we already know. Um, the conditions, obviously, we have to kill Zhuge Liang, and to me, you can't die, obviously. Weapon. Uh, the weapon's called a Celestia Blade, and uh, this weapon altogether, the first, second, and third. Um, the only person that can really use this weapon is Nuwa. And uh, you can tell right away from the uh, weapon, the Musu Charge is really high. So uh, we got the Musu Charge at 18, Luck at 17, and Mounted Defense at 13. Um, it's a decent, I, I mean, from what I see, I mean, in a way, you might be saying, I could use some attack and defense, but I've done this several times without any problems. And uh, I've, you know, I mean, I'm trying to get the defender, just to make sure things go the way they're supposed to. And I've got it without no problem. So, anyway, the item. Well, the items. Um, same as last time, you know, Wei Musu. We're going to use the elixir despite the fact that we have plus 18 of Musu charge. Uh, part of me might want to do the survival guide, but it's rare where I nearly. I mean, this level is. Wei side is not as hard as Shu side, personally, to me. Um. I, mean, I could be wrong on that generally for most people, but for me, it's not really that hard. Uh, bodyguards, well, obviously they're going to get killed off. Um, I'll be lucky to have one or two alive. That happened to me only once. Anyway, unit info. So, in order to unlock the defender, and um, it got me really confused when I read it properly. Well, once I read it properly, I knew what that meant. You have to allow two playable generals to be killed. Basically, what that means is you have to allow Zhu Huang, Xu Xu, Zheng He, Zhen Ji. Any of those four have to be killed off. And I actually tried a run of it, and at one point, I allowed to, and sometimes it may not work properly. So be, be very careful, and if it doesn't happen, let another one get killed, and it will trigger it. But if you do, do not like the way it's going, or if you can't do it, obviously restart it, because, well... If for some reason you pretty much killed everybody, but uh, yeah, so once you complete, well, once you allow any of those four to die, you'll get that same cutscene that we did in the last part, and uh, the item will appear right by Simbi's camp, pretty much north, all the way up north east corner. Anyway, let's do it, and I'll be doing pretty much the same thing as we did in the last part. First, by securing the gates. All units surround the enemy stronghold. Don't fall into their hands. Be cautious. And you may want to allow one catapult. Yeah, you may want to allow one catapult attack to happen. They are tough. And if at anyone you want Sima Zhao's to occur, because you do not want, well, you gotta make sure Zhang He does get killed. I mean, it, it's a combination of the four. Well, two of the four, then yeah, then pretty much it. Anyway, let's secure this gate. Enough of the ramble. Well, that. So that's one gate down. And now we're going to go all the way down to the bottom and secure those two gates by uh, by Zhang Bao. He's probably going to... 
And not only that, we're actually gonna fight him and defeat him. Since, you know, he's pretty much, you know... What's the word I'm looking for? It's not gonna be... It's not gonna hurt us. I'm itching for a fight. Yeah, we'll come back to Zhang Fei later. But we'll go for Zhang Bao first. Because it's not gonna really hurt us if we defeat him. And uh, when it comes to allowing those two playable generals to be killed, they take a long time for them for the die well, for them to die. They take a really long time. I mean, I'm not saying they take a long time as we did with Shu. I think the only difficult part is waiting for that to happen. Um so yeah, we're gonna go and defeat Zhang Bao first. Well, that and the gates. You know what? Let's secure. Oh well, let's max out our Musu gauge. Yes, I know that's really fast. Just wait till we hit red. <laughs> I'm hoping not to, but you know, just wait till you hit red. Oh, and for me personally, I really like Nuwa's uh, Musu attack. It's brutal. Just imagine doing this for 10 seconds if you found an Imperial Seal. Yeah, that combo will go up through the roof if you have it for 10 seconds. Alright, that's one gate. Now this gate here. And I'm not securing these gates because I want to. I'm just doing it because I need to. I'd rather buy time and secure gates. But the one gate we... Other than the two by Zhuge Liang, you want to make sure the gate by Shu Huang doesn't get secured. Because troops do come out of that. And it'll give him a hard time, Shu Huang. And Zen Ji. Alright, so... Let's, let's kill this guard captain, because he will drop health. And there's a lot of health drops. I don't know if it's because of the weapon, or if it's because, well, the weapon having that much luck. And why is that gate captain going all the way out of bounds? Well, okay. Why is he going out there? You know what? Let's go defeat Zhang Bao. He's just wasting my time. Seriously. And he's wasting my time. Where did Zhang Bao go? Oh, really? Don't get too hasty. We must wait for reinforcements. Okay, let's go defeat Zhang Bao. Alright. Okay, that was not supposed to happen. I think I completely... M yeah, I missed him. And it's funny that I said this one won't be that much of a problem, and... Non-playable characters cause me problems already. There we go. All right, he's gone. That's not funny. Give me. All 
right, let's go and defeat Zhang Fei because that was just a pain in the ass getting that gate captain to go out of bounds for some weird reason. That made no freaking sense. I never seen anything like that before. All right, so thank God there's a full thing of health over here. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, um, the defender. What the? Basically, I mean, I'm pretty sure you saw it in the comments in the last part, but uh. It's too dangerous. Fall back. Yeah, basically. What it does is, it doubles your defense when you're near death. The survival guide will double your attack when you're near death, and the defender will decrease, will increase your, will double your defense. So, yeah, having those two together could be really helpful. But at the same time, I'm never really in the red, and when I do, I get health pretty much immediately. Alright, so we're gonna go and defeat Liao Hua first because, well, and just because I want to. It's not gonna cause that much of a hassle, well, much of an issue. Unless Simon Zhao gets killed randomly. It doesn't look like he's gonna be going anytime soon. I mean, you see his health, he's not. This isn't good. Yeah, it's not like he's near dead. Yeah, let's switch. Yeah, just just do a Musu attack. That makes things a little easier for us. Instead of actually trying to attack him. Nice try. Alright, Zhang Fei's down. And just because Zhang Fei is dead, that doesn't mean Simon Zhao is off the hook. I've seen some stupid shit happen before. I mean, for example, when we did Zhang Jiao's Musu mode, peasants just get annihilated by nobody. It just says they've been obliterated. That basically... Yeah, that basically means they got killed by a bunch of troops that were scattered. Well, nine times out of ten. But yeah, I mean, I might know the game really well. There's one little thing that I'm still confused on. And that's the luck, because I, I'm going to pause it for a second and go to personnel. If you go to the uh, equipment, the luck. I'm not so sure if that's because, uh, well, the high luck is because, uh, well... The cause of the, the effects of the high luck is more chances of health or better item. I know better item drops. I know that for a fact. Like you get better weapons and, item, and items, but I don't know if that includes energy. Like you get extra health, and um, I really don't see it. I mean, I don't tell that much of a difference because I've seen the same amount of health every time. Okay, how many of these clowns are left? Well, at least I'm not standing there doing nothing. I can say that much because, ooh, well, I really would, I really didn't need that. My bodyguards, on the other hand, probably might have. All right, now let's get out of here. Simon Zhao should be fine. There's really no ambushes once you get up into the point where we can't hold them. once you hit the uh, main camp, Huang Xuan will appear as an ambush, but that's pretty much it. 
we're trying to avoid that left side for now. Which is why I'm just going back and forth. Yeah, I was about to say fourth, but I'm thinking them to fall. Stand strong until reinforcements come. No! Attack! And that'll help a little bit. This doesn't look good. All right, now let's go for Wei Yan. That was not supposed to happen at all. Alright, that put a huge dent in him. As long as he doesn't send me flying like that numerous of times, well, numerous times, then we should be fine. That should finish him off. Or not. A couple more hits to do it. Alright, Wei Yan's down. Alright, let's weaken this guard captain. Huh, where did that guard captain run off to? I mean, I know there's health right besides me in two pots, but I'd rather get it from a guard captain. There we go. All right, that's one down. All right, now we can actually go and defeat Wang Ping and Guan Xing. Then all we have left is waiting for either Shu Shu, Shu Huang, or Zen Chi to get killed. And um, yeah, that's the easy part because I think they'll pretty much get. Let's look at their morale. Shushu has three, Mod Dai has six, okay, that's not a problem. Zenji has three, Shu Huang has three, and I think if you notice this, but Zhao Yun's not in this battle, instead it's Yan Yan, and he has six as well, so. Yeah. Oh, and also, if you allow the first catapult attack to happen, it's different with Wei. Cal uh, Sao Xiu will not appear immediately. They pretty much appear at, ra I, at random, but I know for a fact if Sun Li does get killed, then Sao Xiu will appear. I'm not so sure with Simba Zhao because I really have not gone there yet. And I'm trying to avoid that. <laughs> And you know what? We could actually go and defeat Ma Dai as well because they're both over there. At least one of them needs to fall. Get too hasty. We must wait for reinforcements. Alright, this house you. Yeah, you're going to be seriously sorry for doing that. Like that. Yeah. 
and he's pretty much almost dead. Like I said, killing these generals would not be a problem. Wow. I didn't expect that to happen. Alright, can I get that health? Alright, you guys are still going down. Wow, really? Don't press them until support comes. All right. Unless he doesn't shield. Never mind. I was going to say unless he doesn't shield then he's gone, but You know what? Let's grab health over here. It's not a lot, but at least we're in the blue. He might have shielded again. Alright, Guan Xing's down. Honestly, did we lose either one of those two yet? Because it doesn't look like Zen G is even fighting, so we have to hope that Shu Huang gets killed off. I make mean, it always buy time and start killing troops. Really? Oh, there's health. A lot of it. Alright, let's take care of these crossbows because they're just a pain in the ass. They always have been and they always will be. Stand strong until reinforcements come. So yeah, just buying time, start killing troops, you know. I'm just waiting for that where it says Shu Huang or it's gonna be either Shu Huang or Shu Shu. There's no way it's gonna be Zen Chi for the fact that you can see right away if you can tell from the map from where she's at, it doesn't even look like she's even fighting. So it's one hundred percent gonna be either be Shu Huang or Shu Shu. I'll be shocked if it's not either one of those two. You know what? Let's go for Mod Die. Because I'm banking on Shu Wong to be the one that gets killed. If I could get out of here. I totally forgot about that. Alright, looks like I got out in one piece. Let's just go and defeat Mod Die. Yeah, there you go. A direct hit.
Look at that was not supposed to happen at all. And he's using the moose to attack. Oh god. Alright, let's go and grab some health because there's a lot of it all over the... Oh, that's arrows. There's health. There's some more health. Where are the reinforcements? Oh, that was a cheap shot. That was a quick charge up. And he got 200 health back. You know what? Let's make this a little quicker. Well, make our lives a little bit easier by grabbing that. That takes care of pretty much, pretty much all of them except for a few. And now Mod dies pretty much after this last hit. Yeah, now he's gone. Yeah, as for Shu Huang on the other hand, he's still there. I mean, there was one time where... Yeah, there was one time pretty much where Shu Shu died on accident and he was trying... I'm not trying to bank on him. And, um... When I played it, and this is the part where it kind of did, it kind of got a little screwy. I, I allowed Zheng He and Zen Ji both to get killed, and it didn't trigger. So I was waiting for that third one, and I didn't expect. I was expecting Shu Huang, and I was banking on it, and for some reason Shu Shu was the one that gets killed off, and um, and it triggered. So with the thing that well, with the steps that I'm taking, there might be a possibility that Shu Shu will die by accident. Yeah, simply because, well, he's facing Jiang Wei. And his morale, well, Shu Shu's morale, I think is at 2 right now. Well, 4. And Jiang Wei's is at 5. And uh, it'll probably increase once, uh, well, if, well, once Zen G, if Zen G does get killed, then it would increase, but it's at 5 right now. Man, this is getting a pain in the ass. It's not for the fact that, you know, I'm having a hard time. It's just, it's just too many of them. And hey, don't you run away from me. Alright, now let's get out of here. Maybe kill a few more. Nice try. Do I really need to babysit and watch him get killed? Because also, we know he's in trouble, but it's just not, this is what was happening before. This is exactly what happened to me before when I was doing a test run of it. Shu Huang is stuck in that one little spot, and it takes forever for him to get killed. And sometimes he doesn't even die. So you just need to make sure that Shu Shu is the one that gets killed off next, if not. But, uh... We'll hope that he does. Anyway, we might just have to go and watch him. Because I don't know why it's just... Did he secure the gate? No, he didn't. Oh, he's almost dead. Okay, cool. 
We'll just watch. No, don't come towards me. That's not the that's not what I had in mind. My death will not be in vain. Yeah, you see him trying to charge up. Well, he can't pretty much he can't do that anymore. I mean, it it takes a while for them to get killed. Well, not killed. Uh, since it's on hard mode. I'm thinking completely different, a completely different topic, but yeah, you see him trying to get health back and he can't. Well, yeah, he pretty much either ran out or he can't do it on hard mode. Our allies, it's a little difficult because they can't do it in general. What I remember, anyway. It's been a long time. There you go, Shu Huang sound. Now let's go for Yan Yan and uh, wait for the cutscene first. Alright, so the item will appear up there. And now we're gonna go for Yan Yan. It'll be that much of an issue until I can actually see him. I think I. Never mind. I think I went a little trigger happy and pressed circle too early, but no, I didn't. Wow. I gotta be, be careful unless I'm next. Yeah, I'll be next if I don't play this safe. And I'm playing careless. I know there was health somewhere. Oh, there it was. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna have that much of a problem. It's just, I'd rather play it safe because, you know, stupid stuff like that. I have to say stupid shit, but it is stupid shit. I mean, a private can send you flying. And that's kind of pathetic. Oh, I messed that one up to the extreme. Can he quit shielding? Alright, let's do this. Alright, let's secure this gate. And now that Mon Chong appeared, Simu Yi will be on the move. Alright, let's get away from these troops. I think enough's enough. We can just continue now. But here's the million dollar question. Did my horse disappear? If it disappeared, that's gonna suck a little bit. I'm not gonna go out of my way to find it. I mean, I see one right here, but I'll check by Zen G one more time without getting destroyed by crossbows. Nah, I don't see it. Alright, let's just go and grab this brown one. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Awesome. So now, we're gonna have to go all the way back to where Sim Yi's main camp is, and we're going to grab the Defender. So this might take a little bit. So I'm going to go on random ramble on stuff. So, um, yeah, I think I already mentioned before, if you want to, uh, 
well, the effects of the defender. If you're near death or red, then you your defense will double. And same thing with the survival guide. Your attack will double instead of the defense. And um, that's only if you're in the red. And when I mean red is in health. Um, I really don't use it. I don't use it because I never unlocked them to begin with. But if I had the items, I probably would have not have used it. Because I really don't need it. I mean, you see me playing this part. And I hardly struggled. I mean, he has a lot of attacks going on and everything. But when it comes to being near dead, probably twice and that's it. And you see me in the orange, I mean, orange or yellow health. But I want to make sure I don't do anything stupid. Because like I said, I've seen stupid stuff happen in the past. And in this LP. And the Grand Prix. Anyway, um, we'll just uh, continue on, and maybe securing that gate would have helped, but uh, why is, um, yeah, CBE is going in a different direction. Uh, why do I care? Everyone's morale is at pretty much 5 and 4, and Shuga Leong is at 7, and um, CBE is at 8, so I'm not really that concerned. So once we go to the main camp, well, our main, yeah, our main camp. And then we're gonna go grab the defender, and then we'll attack. Well, well, so much for going for Zhang Yi. I don't say go for Jiang Wei then Zhang Yi, but that made our job a little easier. So, oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention. If you're trying to hope that Zhang Liao is one of them, well, for the conditions to unlock the defender, no, because he's secondly an officer. And you can tell by looking at the unit info. I mean, it's pretty much Dynasty Warriors one, uh, Dynasty Warriors 101. Um, anyone that's on the uh, the list here, they're all generals, and obviously it says officers there. I mean, self-explanatory. That's Dynasty Warriors 101. I mean, I haven't really taught 101 of Dynasty Warriors in the first part, so might as well show it off here. And um, obviously, if you press, well, depending on what console you're playing, if you're pressing the uh, square button, yeah, the square button will be a regular attack. If you keep on pressing the square button, depending on what type of combo you're going for if it's like if you're doing one two then a, the third the fourth one will be a combo then there you go on uh on a horse will be pretty much the same but it's a bit it's a bit different for each one one of them stuns him one of them throws him up in the air which is pretty much why i do knowingly to get a high combo one will send them flying and one will be a special attack uh, well charge uh and one will stun i think i said stun and um, if you press the circle button, which I'm not going to do, I'm assuming it's a PlayStation, but if you play on the Xbox, it's pretty much the same buttons on the right side. So X for attack, Y for uh, charge, and B for Musu attack. And I'm going in the opposite direction, I just realized that, but I'm not caring. I'm going to go and defeat Jiang Wei anyway. Well, Huang Xuan first. Yeah, I'm not pressing it because I'm going to be using it really soon. And I do not want to waste it. We can't hold them. All right, so once we hit here, there will be a cutscene. Who are you? Since you saw us, now you must die! And that will be basically Huang Xuan's ambush unit. It's not that big of a deal. He's not really a threat. Why did I go trigger happy and do that? But like I said, he's no threat. It's just an AI, non-playable general or officer. 
character, whatever. That's a lot of crossbows. Let's take care of him here right now. Looks like somebody can't get health. That might have been Huang Xuan. I'm not so sure. All I heard was like that noise. We must fight well. well, I mean the noise where would sound the noise that would sound <sighs> the noise that basically goes off once you uh basically get your Musu gauge charged. Wow, that was a mouthful and a half, and I actually had to stop saying it through the dialogue. Anyway, let's go for Jiang Wei. Oh, Gao Xiang could go first. Either or. Really? Why is he running away for? We must fight well. All right, you're still going to pay for that. Oh my god. Nice try. Now you're done. Or not. He's really lucky. You're not allowing... I'm not allowing you to do that. Alright, Jung Wei's down. Now we can go and finish this off. Why is he running away? Oh, there's a god captain. I was gonna say, I need health. Because for some reason, he. Pretty much obliterated the hell out of me. Oh, great. They didn't take care of those crossbows. Well, looks like I'm going to have to do it. Where are the reinforcements? Okay, a random crossbow drops health. That's kind of funny. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go for it. I mean, I don't see any arches up here or crossbows, so we can pretty much finish this off. And I know I already passed the 40 minute mark, even if I, if I pause it. Well, we technically didn't when it comes to the time remaining, but on this video altogether, we're going to hit 40 minutes. And here's Huang Zhang. Come on, let me show you the ways of the world. And he's down. One more to go. I have lived well. we 
Okay, now here's the Rat Pack. Yeah, let's clear out all these troops. Oh, until we get all the crossbows out of here. Because they will follow you. And it gets really annoying sometimes. Yeah, if you try to run away from crossbows, sometimes they will follow you. And it's really irritating. Because I was followed one time for throughout the half... Well, not half, but... Maybe half the map. And I was trying to find health. And I pretty much ran out of health. And those same crossbows killed me. Obviously not the crossbows here. But just random crossbows I encountered. And I tried to run away from those crossbows. And the only things that were left on the map where I died was crossbows. Well, not crossbows, but... The red mark pretty much followed me on the map, so... Okay, they can pretty much take care of one crossbow. I'm just going to start attacking troops until I get, or get attacked myself, until I get max Musu gauge. So now we're going to go and defeat Zhuge Liang. I think I hold it up long enough. Oh my god, that did not just happen. We used the Musu attack at the same exact time. What type of luck is that? How unlucky can you get? There we go. Yeah, I tell you, my luck is shitty when it comes to life in general. So, I'm not surprised that it actually happened to an extent. But, same time, it's a bit irritating. All right. Okay, that was not supposed to happen. Yeah, let's take care of more of these troops because I have a feeling I'm going to do something really stupid I'm going to regret. And um, let's just wait until someone drops health. I know there's a god captain in here somewhere. I mean, I see one right there. Oh, great. Here he comes. You know what? Let's save that once I use that Musu attack. If I'm, assu I'm assuming that was a healing ointment. Alright, yes it was. My assumption was correct, for once. Because you know what happens when you assume. And this should finish him. Or not. And that's a win. Alright, so it may have not been 40 minutes that I was trying to shoot for, but at least it wasn't over an hour, because right now my thing says 49 minutes. Well, my editing. Anyway, let's see how long that took. So it took basically 10 minutes less than the last part. So, yeah, not bad. Now, let's see what items we got and weapons. Weapons. Oh, wow. Moose and Max plus 49, but I really like that charge. I I mean, that's tempting, especially with the Musu attack that Noah uses. Luck plus 2, uh, nothing. Let's just stick with this. 
<laughs> I'd rather stick with that. <laughs> Alright, items. Oh my god. Okay, great. We got the max for the Taiga Amulet. Alright, that just made my day. Um, The Wing Boots, 14. Nope. Defender, awesome. That's what we're looking for. Defense times 2 when you're dead. Basically, doubles defense when you're near dead or red. Alright, so we got another maxed item and I pretty much I'll probably show that off right now after this well let's we'll skip let's we'll skip the points because well yeah it's already at max anyway we'll save all right and um yeah so let's go to the databases and um Go, yeah, we'll go to the database, and uh, I was, we pretty much covered every... We had every single item now, which is great. We got all the equipable items that give you extra charge, reach, and all that. And then the special items starting from the red hair all the way down. And um, out of all the items up here, when it comes to extra defense, extra attack, and all that, the only ones that have actually max, maxed out, I uh, maxed out the Huang's bow. I maxed out the speed scroll, and I think other than the Tiger Amulet, yeah, so those three. So basically, I need nine more, and then I fully max them out here, but then the Extreme Legends, they give you extra. So if you would go for an Extreme Legends, if I'm not mistaken, it's an additional, I think it's plus 24. I could be wrong on that, but uh, yeah, so... That's pretty much it. We did everything when it comes to items. Now, what's left is basically the fourth weapons. And, um, it doesn't matter which one we do. I'm just gonna go to the web to the characters. So, we have to go for every fourth weapon now. And, yes, it's gonna be a hassle on my end. Because I have unlocked some of them. I've unlocked pretty much more than half of them, but there will be a few, for example, Dong Zhuo will be a pain to do, but we'll talk about that once we get there, but I will be doing these fourth weapons in order that I did the Musa modes in, and when it comes to the last two, I will be doing new was last, so we're going to go for Zhao Yun's weapon next, and that will be in the next part, so until then, you be watch you you have been watching my gaming adventures and I'll see you for the next part which will be unlocking Zhao Yun's fourth weapon. Peace.